All right, do a quick walkthrough of my 2017 Regal 29 OBX. Uh, we do have some tree trimmers here today, so there might be a little background noise, but anyway, uh, we've owned this since new. It's been on this lift ever since the day it was new. Flushed out every single time as soon as it came home. There's another power tower that goes up and down. Nice bimini. We did replace the bimini about a year ago, so that's in great shape. Underwater lights. Um, does have trim tabs. Seven underwater lights all together. Custom white painted engines to match the boat. Uh, speakers back here. I'm sure you're familiar, but the, uh, the 29's got a great feature here with this back seat. You can, uh, slide it back and forth 12 inches. So right now there's plenty of leg room there. But you can also slide it forward when you're at the beach or something and uh, gives you, that's not all the way forward, but gives you about 12 inches of extra swim platform. There is a storage cooler type area there. Flagpole um, does have a fresh water shower on the back. Boarding loud, loud ladder. It's got great seating across the back. Uh, table there you can mount on either side and also up, up at the front. Um, these seats on both sides just flip forward and back. Back seats do that as well so you can face forward and back nice and easy. Uh, fusion stereo with two, four, six, eight speakers plus a subwoofer. Full toilet with sink, um, incinerator, and overboard discharge, storage tank, all that stuff. So it's not a porta potty. Um, go over to the helm. It does have a nice Garmin GPS. So if we can get somewhere we can see it. Um, it's got a nice split screen. You can do all kinds of stuff with. Uh, full charts, even a 3D chart like that. Um, can control the stereo. Even when you have the charts up, you can control the stereo down here, which is handy. Um, if I go to the engines, engines aren't running right now, so not much is showing, but you can see the hours on there. And it does keep track of all this stuff digitally. There is a fuel gauge and a depth gauge that are the old analog, so that stuff doesn't fail. It does have a bow thruster, which is awesome for pulling up to the dock and everything. Uh, trim tabs and the windless anchor control. Um, also, just like the back seat, this seat is uh, power as well, so you can do it up and down, forward and back, and it's a power slider. all the gauges everything works hatches up and down it's all electronic the arch you can tip back if uh, if you need to get under a bridge or something like that just hit that and that tips down nice and low uh, hatch goes up and down like that too <clears throat> but in the helm there's tons of seating and storage up here like I said it is a nice windless a Lumar anchor with a hook on there. Great storage under both the seats. I got a lot of junk in here right now, but it does have two Fusion amps to go with the stereo system. Or on the side storage. Like I said, we just did the annual about a month ago and all the engines are done that way. Um, the only issue we're having right now in full disclosure, which I'm working on, is one of the uh, breakers 
was bad um, so my guy wired in a nice fuse in there so that everything still works including the windlass but of course that's a regal part that I have to try and get directly from regal so <clears throat> we'll see how that goes but everything's working right now it just needs that replaced so that looks nice and clean everything else is in great shape on the boat custom painted engines um, the only one minor bump and bruise on this is there is a little cut in the back there somebody had their engine cowling up and uh, coasted in there so punched a little hole in, the, in there I did seal it up so it is uh, it is watertight but I never notice it because it's on the back of the engine but somebody probably want to get that replaced at some point or not replaced I'm sure you can just fix it and again, there's the outside of the boat. It's got the Regal Fast Track Hull, which is super awesome. I had a uh, Monterey before this that was the same size, and this thing rides a million times better with that Fast Track Hull. I really love it. And there it is again from the outside. Like I said, it's been a great boat. We're just looking to upgrade a little bit. It's the only thing to do these days is go out on the water. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll be glad to arrange a time to take a look at it.